Hello, welcome to Camaro Mods channel. Catch cans, we've got good, better, and best. A catch can is designed to stop oil from traveling all the way through the system and storing it in a can. It separates out the contaminated oil from the blow-by exhaust gases and before it is recycled back into the intake and reburned. This prevents used oil from re-entering the system to gum up your engine. Okay, this catch can has input, output on this side. I thought this was kind of cool because it got a little dipstick on it. See how full it is? I also like this one because it had lots of different fittings on it, different size fittings on it. Got Teflon tape with it. But this hose is, you might as well just pitch it in the trash because it's for a vacuum hose. As easy as that collapses, it's not going to work. I don't even know why they waste their time sending that. So get some real hose like this. It's kind of like a gas line. Made in the USA. I'm not sure if that says gas line on it. Yeah, fuel emissions. It's a 3 8 hose. I believe it's 9.5 millimeter. Yeah, 9.5 millimeter. This is one I got off of Amazon. It's a uh, basically empty on side, empty on the inside, and it has a kind of a filter there. Pretty simple design, but this is your, this is the good one, and then we got, but you got to do your homework on these catch cans because if you don't, you're not going to have any place to mount it. So I had to wind up going to Elite Engineering. So you can have a so you can have a way to mount that in your car. And you can get these with brass fittings or nickel, nickel plated. But this one has a little bit more stuff to it. It has a kind of a filter here and looks like it's got looks like it's got like a Brillo pad or something inside of it. Anyway, it stops that contaminant from going through. But anyway, this is a... I think I got this one off of Summit Racing. This is where I got this one off of. And I also ordered the, the one-way check valve. That'll keep it going, you know, one direction. And you got some real hose that goes with this. And then you got your good, better, best. This is the Tracy Lewis catch can. Has three ports at the top. Has two check valves. And has a little drain valve here. You just open that up and probably connect that to it and blows it out. But, uh, this one is around four hundred dollars. Got lots of hose comes with it. If I'm not mistaken, this this covers both sides of your engine. It covers the clean side, which is where you put your oil in, and the dirty side, which is where your PVC valve is. Covers both sides of the engine. This here just catches uh, the dirty side of the engine. So this is the one that we're going to put on the, the Camaro today. It's the Elite Engineering. These are about 175. Yeah, they're not cheap either, but it's quite a comparison, I mean, between the two, but I mean, this is well made. I mean, it's 
for as inexpensive as it is, it needs to be, it needs some uh, Teflon tape put on it. But for $25, that's uh, I mean, as far as that goes, you could put something in there to. Put some take this off and put some brillo pad in there if it pops off i don't know anyway on on these catch cans you need to be pretty pretty car specific on whichever one you want to put on your car because if you just buy this is basically a generic version and you basically won't have no place to to mount it I mean, you want to you want it to look nice wherever you mount it. You don't want to just put it anywhere. But this in here, I may put it on the truck. I may put it on my Cadillac. I don't know yet. But wherever I find a good place to mount it at. But uh, but that kind of gives you an idea on the good better and best I mean four hundred dollars a lot of money to spend on a catch can but I mean they do uh, pull out your contaminants out of your out of your engine to keep from building up you know over time oh and I did have someone ask about the throttle body the boot Let's see I believe it was savage 069 was asking about this is the 80 millimeter boot that goes with the the overkill the overkill throttle body see the difference that's 72 and this is 80 see there's the other one on the car, we'll take a shot of it in a minute, but it goes from this size down to this size in a, in a, in a boot. It reduces it down. So when I get the overkill throttle body, which is 80 millimeters, same size as this, the cold air intake is also this size, and it'll basically be a straight shot won't be no more reducing down into a 72 millimeter so it'll come out come out of the old cold air intake right into the throttle body there will be no reduction on it it'll be a straight shot through there so that ought to open her up and help make it breathe but I hope that cleared up for Savage 069 about these uh, the boots that come with it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to I'm going to take these and I'm going to put some Teflon tape on them. I think everybody knows how to put Teflon tape on, so I'm not going to waste your time on that. But I'll get the Teflon tape put on these. I'll get all this mounted up to it, and then we'll go to the car and we'll get this thing put on. But my 80 millimeter throttle body didn't hasn't come in yet so I was wanting to show you that okay I got this thing all set up this arm here mounted on here these here's not real tight I can bend them around to whichever way I need to point them these here outlets and inlets here and then here's the the check valve all your clamps and stuff had to cut this in to put the check valve in there somewhere. So let's go over to the car over here and let's uh, get this thing put on. See the Rotofab cold air intake? The way it comes into the throttle body. See how it reduces down? It reduces down from 80 to 72 millimeter. So we get the overkill throttle body put on there then that reduction won't be there, it'll be straight on through. Then we'll get the, we'll get this intake ordered 
and a spacer that goes underneath that. And that'll all be ported out. And that's gonna be, that's really gonna open it up and let her breathe. This mount right here, this is your, this is your mount for your, your top cover that goes on the engine. We're gonna, that's a 10 millimeter bolt. We're gonna take that off. I can find my wrench here. Okay, now we have the catch can mounted here, right off of this bolt here. Now we'll flip these around and we'll start tying into the, to the vacuum line. Okay, you look at the top of the intake manifold. This line right here is the one we're going to be working with. This line goes right back to the PVC valve. So we'll get it taken off. Okay, all you got to do is pull straight up on this. Pull it through right here. And you gotta turn this, you pop it out. You got these little tabs on the side there, you gotta turn it just a certain way. Basically just drop it in, and turn it, and it'll lock back in. So we'll be cutting into this line right here. Okay, here's your PVC valve. We shove this rubber tubing all the way down as far as you can go. And this leads you. I'll show it better here. This shows you this part right in here. So we'll cut this right here at the right here at the bow. Or actually just before it. Use one of these little tubing cutters. This is kind of a hard plastic. Just kind of cut it down here in the middle somewhere. I have plenty of room to connect on your Can you see that? It makes a nice clean cut. Okay, if you got any of these pruners right here. For pruning, for pruning shrubs or something. These are amazing for cutting rubber hose. So get a piece about that long. We're we're cutting in for a um, check valve, so yours going to need to be a lot longer if you don't have the check valve. Okay, the top of this catch can on the fittings and when you turn this where it's pointing towards the engine okay now we got the clamps on the catch can both sides of the check valve and we got the PVC valve back in so the top side's all done now we'll work on the intake side do on that Real simple. Drop this down in there. Let it lock. Okay, this is the intake side. Looks like we need to cut it again. We don't need it going back this way. So we'll cut it right here. And then a short piece from here to there. I'll clamp it. So I'll pull this out and let's get it. Snip it and recut it. A nice clean cut. Get it focused here. Now we'll put this back up on top. 
lock it down. Let's see how much hose we need. Go around, go around 10 inches. Okay, we're gonna put on this last piece here. Stick it down in there and turn it. Slip it on the catch can here. And we'll move the clamp down. We're done. Okay, that's going to do it for the Elite Engineering catch can. That's for the V6 LFX engine. Thanks for watching.